Before we demonstrate how to fit the Donjoy Ultra Sling 4, we'll run through the various components which make up this product. There is a cushion and waist strap. The sling is attached to the cushion with Velcro. The shoulder strap attaches to the sling, and you can tell the difference between this and the waist strap as it has two rings and a double padded strap which protects the neck. The exercise ball can be attached to the front of the sling. Finally, there is a thumb strap and a forearm strap that can be secured once the Ultra Sling is on. When you take the product out of the packaging, detach the sling from the cushion and release the waist strap. You can also put the ball to one side for the time being. Remove the small Velcro thumb and top straps and put to one side. Unhook the shoulder strap from the sling so that when it is held in the air, you have the sling followed by the single strap. This is marked A, the double straps B and C, and another single strap D. We will now demonstrate the simplest way to fit the Ultra Sling 4, firstly when being applied by the clinician, and then by the patient themselves. Start by attaching the cushion to the patient's injured side at waist level, bringing the waist strap around the back and attaching it with the buckle at the front of the cushion. The waist strap can be adjusted as required. Place the patient's forearm in the sling with the arm as far back as possible in the sling and attach to the cushion, ensuring the elbow is fixed at 90 degrees. Attach the forearm strap to the sling and cushion. Then secure the thumb strap between the thumb and forefinger at the front of the sling. Take hold of the shoulder strap, treating the double strapping in the middle as one strap, and place it around and over the patient's shoulder. Clip the two buckles onto the sling and adjust the Velcro on the strapping to ensure the sling fits securely and comfortably. Once the patient is awake or they are more mobile, undo the lower strap, put it under the patient's arm and then reattach through the O-ring and secure with the Velcro. The exercise ball, which is used to aid in stimulating circulation, can now be attached, if not in place already. We will now show you the simplest way for the patient to fit the brace themselves. We recommend that this is done whilst the patient is seated on the edge of a bed. Lay the sling with shoulder straps out on the bed behind you, with the sling positioned on the injured side. Whilst seated, attach the cushion at waist level, bringing the waist strap around the back and attaching it with the buckle at the front of the cushion. Place your arm in the sling and attach the sling to the cushion. Secure the forearm strap to the sling and cushion before attaching the thumb strap. Using your free arm, take the shoulder strap and slip your arm through the double strap marked B and C in a motion similar to putting on a backpack. One strap will be over the unaffected shoulder and the other under the arm. Clip the two buckles into the sling. The exercise ball can now be attached to the front of the sling. If you need to take your arm out of the sling to do exercises prescribed by your clinician, the forearm and thumb straps should be removed before detaching the outside quick-release buckle on the sling.